Well, the United States and, and the European Union are by far the, the two largest uh, international traders in the world. Uh, between us, we constitute uh, about 40% of world GDP and nearly 50% of world trade. I think we're both very committed to the multilateral system, to the, the good functioning of the WTO, but we have to admit uh, in recent years there have been problems getting uh, a major multilateral deal uh, at, uh, in Geneva. And therefore, uh, the United States uh, has begun uh, a series of negotiations bilaterally, particularly with the Pacific partners, culminating in the agreement now here on the Trans-Pacific Partnership. The European Union is negotiating extensively also in that region with Japan, with India, uh, with uh, the, um, Singapore, uh, Thailand, uh, and opening negotiations with the Philippines and Indonesia, and shortly Australia and New Zealand, and we're also upgrading our existing free trade agreements with Chile, with Mexico, uh, and we're negotiating with Mercosur, and we've just concluded and will ratify uh, in the next few months a very comprehensive agreement with Canada. So both of us have very extensive trade agendas, uh, but it would make sense if we completed that by a very ambitious agreement between ourselves. Uh, we are the, the, the largest traders in the world, the transatlantic uh, economic corridor is by far the largest and most important economic corridor in the world. We're both heavily invested in each other. Uh, United States uh, companies make more money out of their investments in Ireland than they do out of their investments in China. Uh, and uh, equally, uh, the Euro European Union companies are heavily invested in America. And we, this cross-investment creates uh, around 15 million jobs on both sides of the Atlantic. So we are already heavily invested. It makes sense that if we could eliminate tariffs, if we could considerably reduce uh, technical barriers to trade, if we could increase regulatory cooperation, uh, both sides would stand to gain enormously from, from such a deal. We started the negotiations in July of 2013, so we're uh, coming up to th three years this year. Uh, Seen by many people, this is a long time. In the history of trade negotiations, frankly, uh, this can actually be very short. It took us uh, nearly six years to negotiate with Canada, uh, and uh, three to five, six years is perhaps TPP, the Trans-Pacific Partnership, uh, already took uh, six years. Uh, but we are optimistic that given the amount of preparatory work which went on before we started these negotiations, that it might be possible uh, to conclude an agreement already in the lifetime of this administration, by which I mean by the end of 2016. Um, we're making good progress uh, uh, on the market access aspects of the negotiations on the regulatory cooperation. The regulatory cooperation is perhaps one of the more controversial aspects because people fear uh, a lowering of standards on both sides of the Atlantic. We're both committed that this will not be the case, uh, that we will maintain our very high standards on both sides of the Atlantic, but there are duplications, there are uh, unnecessary uh, burdens on companies uh, in fulfilling uh, the respect of these requirements that we believe uh, could be reduced and make the cost of doing business across the Atlantic uh, much less, whether it's uh, medical devices, pharmaceutical products, chemical products. Very often people are required to do the identical tests on both sides of the Atlantic, uh, whereas it should be possible if you fulfill these requirements on one side of the Atlantic that this would be given more weight and value when you want to market your product uh, in Europe or in the United States. Another area, of course, of controversy uh, has been uh, in the investment chapter, the Investor State Dispute Settlement, which is an arbitration system for settling the disagreements between foreign investors uh, and host countries. Uh, this has become particularly controversial uh, in Europe, but I think even in the United States, and the European Commission has recently put forward a comprehensive uh, uh, revision of this system in order to make it more transparent, more, more accountable, uh, and we hope that on this basis we will be able to move forward with the American partners. There are, of course, uh, difficult areas on both sides, uh, and we are not yet there. Uh, we will continue to work uh, into the summer where we hope to sort of reach the end of what we call the mid-game, uh, and hopefully we can move into the end-game negotiation uh, in the second half of this year. It's no guarantee that we will find an agreement, but uh, we're both working very much in that direction. And finally, I'd just like to say that this is one of the most transparent negotiations we've ever had. The European Commission puts all of its papers and proposals uh, on the web. Uh, everyone can consult uh, all of the documents. Uh, and we are, of 
course, uh, under uh, strict supervision of the uh, member states in the Council of Ministers and the European Parliament, both of whom will have to approve any deal, just as any deal uh, would have to be approved by the U.S. Congress. So this is ultimately a profoundly democratic process, uh, and uh, the people will have the final say as to whether any deal which emerges is ultimately ratified and enters into force. So I think this is a deal which has much to offer both sides economically, and we should not forget, of course, the geopolitical context uh, at a time of uh, great uh, upheaval in the international world order, the conclusion of an ambitious trade deal between the United States and the European Union would reinforce our joint commitment uh, to common standards, uh, high values, uh, whether democracy, human rights, uh, and defense of the liberal world order, which is under threat these days from many different sources. So this is a deal which has much to commend it, and I'm conf <coughs> confident that uh, when we reach the end of these negotiations, people will see that this is actually uh, a very positive step forward.